It is a complex procedure in the way that is when we, the day of surgery, actually, we are talking around eight to 10 hour operation. You know, the patient will be under general anesthesia the whole time. So start after they go to sleep, we start with general surgery with a uh, incision in the abdomen to take the pancreas out. After we take the pancreas out, of course, there's a like two group of surgeon working, you know. So the surgeon takes the pancreas out, hand it over to me. Then while this patient still under anesthesia, they are trying to reroute their GI system because the pancreas actually attached to so many parts of the GI. So they have to reroute them back to so the, the food can go in the in the normal direction. I will be during that time working on the pancreas itself to get the islet out, you know. And that takes me anyway between four to six hours to do the isolation. After I, there's a lot of quality a check on those islet. And after we are happy with the outcome, then we come back, the patient still asleep. By that time, most of the time, the, the surgeon who takes the pancreas already done with all their procedure. Then I will come out, come in, you know, and I will just find the place inside the liver where I want to infuse those islet. The islet is funny. Remember when we start talking the pancreas like a half pound organ? When I bring the islet back, I bring them to look like antibiotic bag, you know, an IV bag, you know, they are a, a cell suspension. And I will just put a catheter in their big vein called the portal vein, which go to the liver. And I'm just infusing those islet and monitoring the liver. It takes me around 45 minutes. And then after that, just check normal surgery like hemostasis, make sure there's no any sign of oozing or ble bleeding. And I'm closing the abdomen, we're done. So usually we start early morning, we end up like five, six o'clock in the afternoon. But again, the patient sleep and uh, the general anesthesia. They wake up, most likely they go to floor. Sometimes if we feel they have any question, we can need to monitor them more closely. We can take them to intensive care unit. And after that, in the hospital, most of the patients within the first few days, we can monitor their glucose, make sure that their islet working. And after they start uh, having GI uh, function, start eating, a few days later, they're going home. So, I mean, I expect their hospital stay anywhere between five to eight days.